welcome back to the channel and uh, tune in for this month's update. May was an interesting month. Uh, we headed out to Texas for the uh, Wildfire uh, 50K trot. Um, well, there's not much to say about it, but it was a DNF and it did not feel good both mentally and physically for the entire month. Uh, went through some heel issues, uh, had a bad twist which involved the ankle, the knee, and the hip all in one go, and that took a little bit of a rest and recovery to uh, get through. It happened around about mile seven, uh, and I finally pulled, you know, I hate to say it, mile 23, I just couldn't step a single more foot. Uh, I tried everything to stay in that race. Uh, it, it just wasn't there. Uh, Along with the lines with not having proper footwear, which is one of the most important things when you're running. Uh, I, I went with a new shoe that I hadn't tested fully. I uh, didn't realize that the sizing difference was slightly off, uh, which resulted in a lot of heel sliding. I'm not going to mention the brand because they are a very, very good brand of shoe. Um, and just, I, I can't, it was just try, you know, wear your shoes. I know your shoes. Uh, otherwise, they will, they will hurt your feet if you have just a slight size difference. Uh, moving on, after, after that DNF, uh, we spent a little time in Texas. Uh, I did a few little post recovery runs, nothing to be post, uh, that I'll post any videos about, but uh, they were just kind of a, a little, little shakeout runs. Uh, after Texas, we, we started driving back to Florida and we had a little stop in the French Quarter, and I recommend it during the day. It's uh, one of the greatest, <laughs> charming places I've been in the United States. Uh, I've driven across this country a lot, and it's now one of my favorite places to visit. The food is great. Uh, the next morning run is always interesting uh, when you're driving, or uh, running, not driving, but running around through the streets of the French Quarter and uh, seeing the, the remnants of the parties before the next morning. Uh, a lot of people, you know, had a good time and they kept it there and uh, managed to keep it going on the streets uh, the following morning. It was quite interesting. Uh, I highly recommend the French Quarter. Go eat some food, walk around. Uh, it, it's a very memorable experience. Uh, well, we made it back to Florida after uh, our quick stop in New Orleans. And, excuse me, New Orleans. Uh, I will be corrected probably for that. Um, but anyway, back here in Orlando and did about a, uh, a week rest. Uh, then I decided to take on just a very, very small, small uh, road running event, which uh, I was the only one signed up for the mile. So there we go, first place finish. But uh, it was a good mood boost, uh, starting small and uh, yeah, building the confidence back up. Uh, running every day, uh, just kind of keeping an eye on the the three injuries that I sustained down there in Texas, and uh, yeah, everything else is going good. But future uh, this fall, we have we have the Whistler event by UTMB coming, and we also are really really getting ourselves ready for the long haul 100 in January. Vacation-wise, uh, we're gonna be spending some time in Chamonix around the time the UTMB events going on there, and also taking a cruise uh, down to uh, Nice, uh, France, which looking forward to. It's gonna be a good, much-needed break. Well, thanks for tuning in for this update. Uh, I'll try to get some more trail running videos this month, uh, this month uh, of June, and we'll take it from there.